the last time Derby County visited Meadow Lane for a competitive fixture, October 23rd, 1994. Almost 29 years later, the Rams are back in town for the first ever meeting between the teams in this competition. Both clubs have their eyes on bigger prizes this season, but there is momentum to be maintained, especially for Derby, who go into this one six unbeaten in all competitions. That's bounced nicely for Barkhazen. We find Sibley. Sibley edge of the area. Leaves the defender on the deck. Touch from Slocum, really important to help it onto the woodwork. This might be some contest, this. It's a brilliant play from start to finish. It's from a building from the back with the goalkeeper playing out under pressure. Great little play, Box steps inside the pitch, finds Sibs, and he leaves the defender on the ground. Hits it with his right foot and it's a great save from the goalkeeper. It's a lovely move from start to finish. Hashin making the goal trick do a bit of chasing. Bird, lovely turn away from O'Brien. Still going Bird. It's a great run. Bird to try and take it all the way. Porn block by Rawlinson. Tell you what, since he's come back, Owen. He looks so quick, so light on the ground. We talked about him fit being in the summer and coming back strong. He's looked even stronger on his return from his injury. He just glides past two players there like he wasn't there. Taken short by the home side. Not cleared decisively by Derby. And the shot came in from Makari, was just over the top of the crossbar. That first head up from Badley, just back into the danger area. It's got to get away from goal, even if you head it back to where it's come from. He's dropped it towards the edge of the box, where there's a Knotts player lurking. O'Brien again, into McGoldrick. It's knocked out by Barquez, and who's back defending, and this is Bird. Like he was having his shirt tugged on. It's a terrific ball from Bird. Fortner's through on goal. Glorious chance for Derby. And it's saved by Slocum. And that was the best chance of the game so far. Brilliant play once again from Max Bird. Little give and go with Collins. Using his strength. Continues to play on. Great run from Fauna. That touch there. Maybe just doesn't set him the way he wants. But he still gets his shot off. And it's a great save from the goalkeeper. There looks to be a real swagger about Max Bird, Jono. Yeah, he's, he plays with that sort of, not arrogance, but a little bit of swagger that he knows he's a good player. And, you know, when he gets the ball box up there, he glides with the ball. He's just so classy in the eye. And he's our... Oops. Derby oh, forward, it's a Louis Sibley who scores. It comes down the Derby right. Sibley combines with Wilson, who gets the ball back to him. And it's two in two in the EFL Trophy. For Louis Sibley. Slick move once again, Owen. As we're talking about Max Bird, it's Louis Sibley that's made three or four really good runs in this game already. Clever little reverse. Wilson steps onto the ball. Sibs isn't finished here. He goes over and past through two defenders on his right foot. It's a great finish across goals. Lovely time pass as well from Wilson. And we deserve that. The opening 20 minutes have been exceptional. The attacking play has been so fluid at times, and Louis Sibley down that right hand side gets his goal of the game. The man, some McGoldrick, Bostock, not probing, O'Brien, Austin, Bostock again, out to the man, encouragement from the home side. The man trying to burst past Wilson. Did he keep that in play? McGoldrick goes for it. And that's an important block. The man with the pace down that left-hand side. It looked like it was going to go out, but so electric over the five, ten yards that it needed to get there. Finds out McGoldrick. It's a great block to stop the shot coming in at pace. Oh, one back by Barkhazen. Derby have a two against one. Collins into Barkhazen. Back to Collins, and Slocum with another save. A glorious chance for Derby to make it 
They may get another opportunity. The corner turns back to all halfway. Derby have to take these chances, Sean. Had to be 2 0. Collo and Barkays are between each other. Oh, lovely flick from Bird. It's Collins. Saved by the goalkeeper again. The offside flag up anyway. Yeah, the chance before. They've got to finish it. Pressing again. This time, Barks wins it back. I think Collo releases it too early here. I think he can keep on driving and make Rawlinson make a decision. Barks could have shot himself. He plays back across the Collo, and it was all trying to be a little bit too cute for me. A calm and composed ball from him to Harahan, and he's going to continue his run. Niambe down the left-hand side. Might not need him. Barkhazen into the area, to the byline. Good cross! Still a chance for Derby, perhaps. Sibley eventually fires it home. Well, Derby did their best not to convert there. A chance for Collins, a chance for Bird, and eventually Louis Sibley takes charge and bangs home his second to make it 2 0. Where did it start? In that far corner with Nambi. Played it forward. Connor drives with the ball unopposed. Gets in box, loves to see box in these positions, drift past the defender, great ball to Collo, he stretches out a leg, Max Bird doesn't give up, there's an overhead kick, goalkeeper makes a save, and Sibley makes no mistake. Oh, mistake by Cashin, chance here for Knotts, well, Cashin with the block, danger hasn't gone. And a combination of Wilson and Cashin keeps not sound again. Crowley. Blocked by Bird and Derby living very dangerously there. They're the little moments that you don't want. Being sloppy in possession, trying to play out. You give them a chance. Fair dues to Erin Cashin. I think he makes two wonderful blocks to rectify from the mistake. Wilson. Poor ball. Intercepted. Knotts will bring it away. It's a really good run. Ball has got to be careful. Referee says penalty. Lakadan Fafa went past Fauna, who stuck out the leg. And this will make things interesting. Well, it looked certain to me it was a penalty. First off, we give it away with Wilson driving down that right-hand side and try to force a pass. Fauna, just stay on your feet, don't dangle a leg in, and as soon as he gets the wrong side of him, when he goes to ground, it's always going to be a penalty. It's from behind, you don't get a touch of the ball, and it gives Knotts a great chance of putting us under pressure for the last 15 minutes of this game. Really poor play, in possession from Wilson in the first place and then defensively from Fauna. Junior Mori as will take it. Josh Vickers to try and be the hero. Keep the scoreline at 2-0. Moriah scores and it is game on for the home side. I mentioned 10 minutes ago, don't give them anything, don't give them a sniff, stay professional, stay engaged with what you have to do. It was such a poor penalty to concede in the first place. And Moraz makes no mistake, in off the top of the crossbar, Vickers had no chance. Oh, Cashin's header, might be a mistake. And Bradley saves his bacon. Marias was waiting to pounce. Great position from Sonny Bradley. There's the experience that you need. Erin Cash you just clear your lines, get the header away, tries to be clever and go back, and Sonny Bradley reads it for his teammate. It is two wins out of two for Derby in the EFL Trophy. A brace from Louis Sibley is the difference. And though Josh Vickers was beaten from the penalty spot late in the second half, Derby hang on to win. An emotional night for Josh Vickers, I'm sure. Terrific ca character to be back playing so soon after everything that he's been throughout. Thoughts continue to be with him and the family. But Derby have won tonight. They've beaten Notts County by two goals to one in their first competitive meeting. Uh, with the team from the other side of the A52 in nearly 30 years.